The Calm by John Donne. Read for LibriVox.org by Thomas Copeland. Our storm is past, and that storm's tyrannous rage a stupid calm, but nothing it doth swage. The fable is inverted, and far more a block afflict now than a stork before. Storms chafe and soon wear out themselves, or us. In calms, heaven laughs to see us languish thus. As steady as I can wish that my thoughts were, smooth as my mistress glass, or what shines there, the sea is now. And as the isles which we seek, when we can move, our ships rooted be. As water did in storms, now pitch runs out, as lead, when a fired church becomes one spout, and all our beauty and our trim decays, like courts removing, or like ended plays. The fighting place now seamen's rags supply, and all the tackling is a frippery. No use of lanterns, and in one place lay feathers and dust to-day and yesterday. Earth's hollownesses, which the world's lungs are, have no more wind than the upper vault of air. We can nor lost friends nor sought foes recover, but meteor-like, save that we move not, hover. Only the calendar together draws dear friends, which meet dead in great fish's jaws. And on the hatches, as on altars, lies each one his own priest and own sacrifice. Who live, that miracle to multiply where walkers in hot ovens do not die. If in despite of these we swim, that hath no more refreshing than our brimstone bath. But from the sea into the ship we turn like parboiled wretches on the coals to burn. Like Bajazet in cage, the shepherds scoff, or like slack-sinewed Samson as hair off languish our ships. Now, as a myriad of ants durst emperor's loved snake invade, the crawling galleys, sea jails, finny chips, might brave our pinnaces, now bedrid ships, whether a rotten state and hope of gain, or to disuse me from the queasy pain of being beloved and loving, or the thirst of honour, or fair death, out pushed me first, I lose my end, for here, as well as I, a desperate may live, and a coward die. Stag, dog, and all which from or towards flies, is paid with life, or prey, or doing dies, fate grudges us all, and doth subtly lay a scourge against which we all forget to pray. He that at sea prays for more wind, as well under the poles might beg cold, heat in hell. What are we then? How little more, alas, is man now than before he was. He was nothing. For us, we are for nothing fit. Chance, or ourselves, still disproportionate. We have no power, no will, no sense. I lie. I should not then thus feel this misery. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.